Hello guys, and welcome back to another wonderful Genshin video. Today, the Phantom Flow event just dropped in Genshin Impact, so I'm gonna do a quick overview of the rewards, what happens during the event, and what you can do. And yes, I know the 2.1 trailer dropped today. All I can say was that trailer was fire. If you have not seen that trailer, you gotta go watch it right now. The story's about to get insane. But anyway, when you load into Genshin Impact, you should get a new world quest in your quest tab that'll take you to this area near Rito. Luckily, there's a wave rider checkpoint right here, so just teleport to the Statue of the Seven and ride your way over here. There should be a dude right here on this little landscape I'm on. You just talk to him and you just start up the event like that. And when you finish the quest, you should be able to interact with this Phantom Flow Sword. Now during the Phantom Flow event, a new challenge will unlock after every single day. So today, there's an Electro Grainer's Triumph. And there's always going to be a different mechanic per challenge throughout this event. So today's challenge is, when carrying an Electro Granum, the energy recharge of all characters in the party is increased by 100%. Additionally, using 3 elemental bursts within 10 seconds will unleash a bolt of lightning to strike a maximum of 5 random opponents nearby, dealing AoE Electro damage. There seems to be 3 difficulty types. There's Normal, Hard, and Extreme. Seems like if you just complete the Normal difficulty, you get your 60 Palma Gems, Hard, you get some talent scrolls and more, and then extreme, you get some experience with some more. Then, there's this fourth challenge mode, where I don't even know, it, from the screen right now, it looks scary, but you only get four Mystic Enhancement Ores, but I guess it's just for people who just want to challenge themselves and do more. There's also a new mechanic to the fourth challenge mode difficulty, which is during the Okuden challenge, a thunder sign will appear at the character's current position when they create lightning bolts in the aforementioned way. So, a third side will appear below your feet after you park your 3 elemental bursts in 10 seconds mechanic. After a short delay, the third side will explode doing electro damage to the character at that position. Okay, okay. So if you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and get a crack at it. The monsters actually do change from the Shodan and this difficulty, so be careful of that too. So I'm probably going to do extreme difficulty because I'm not a baby. And you actually have to do extreme difficulty to unlock the fourth difficulty. And it seems like from this event, every time you complete the normal difficulty, you get 60 Pama Gems. And there's 7 challenges. So you get a total of 420 Pama Gems. Nice. So if you've been Pama Gem hungry lately, want to save up for Kokomi and Ball, here's the Pama Gems for you. And it's actually a good chunk too. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do the... Extreme difficulty for y'all right now. Defeat 25 opponents within 180 seconds. Time between kills cannot exceed 25, and no care to deaths during the challenge. So it's uh... okay. Let's start it up now. So I'm gonna carry the electro Ganon. It's gonna increase my energy recharge by 100% thanks to the mechanic right now. This dude's over here making my screen all muddy, which is not nice. I have so much energy recharge. So yeah, if you do remember, if you were there for the last one, it is like basically the exact same thing as the first one, because it's actually a returning event. We've had this one before in the monster area, so now it's just in the Liyue area this time. It's not Liyue. In the, in the Inazuma area this time, my bad. Oh, I almost got a perfect, perfect counter, because that destroyed everybody. The challenge is pretty easy if you are at the light level. It's not that difficult. Now I'm actually going to try out the fourth difficulty. I'm going to see how hard that actually is. But first, I need to claim these rewards, baby! Okay, I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> I, hopefully it won't be that hard. Okay, three, two, one, and start. Got an electro gainer. I'm actually going to stun everyone right off the bat. They all started slicing at me. These are actually level 95 right now. So I'm gonna just do my regular rotation, regular way of beating this game. You actually gotta defeat 20 of morning too still, which is actually insane. They're actually really high level. Pop off the Zhongli, doink! What? Wait, how did that dude not get stunned? He was literally on top of me. Hard. Right, I gotta be a little guy. I gotta just stop bursting him down. Bursting him down. He got this thing wrong. I'm actually going ahead and heal with my Diona, even though I'm not minding long, but don't worry about it. I couldn't- I can't dodge you, it's in the way! Whoa! 
<laughs> it actually just shifted me all the- Oh! <gasps> Of the jungle. Okay, I think all I need to do is kill one more opponent now. That's gonna be that hard, right? Oh yeah, this is about to die. Wait, no, just die, please! Okay, there we go. Hey! So as you can see, that was a bit more of a challenge. <laughs> and there you go, that was the phantom flow of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of the Phantom Floor event. Make sure to check out the 2.1 trailer that released today. It's yo, it's a hype train for 2.1's crazy. New islands, new story, a whole bunch of characters coming back what I did it was expecting. And yeah, that's all for the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye bye.